Welcome to this month's Solid Edge blog. The topic for this month is additive manufacturing tools within Solid Edge. Solid Edge offers advanced additive manufacturing processes and tools to ensure 3D printed parts are created right the first time. This blog will introduce you to these processes and tools which include the 3D print tab, the reorient command, the 3D print validation commands, physical threads, and 3D printing command. We'll first look at the 3D print tab. And this is new to Solid Edge 2020 and it was enhanced slightly for Solid Edge 2021. And this tab was created to showcase the new tools and also promote existing tools. So for example, you'll notice we've added our clipping planes here, as well as our views and orient commands. And we've also created the groups here. So we have our prep group or prepare group, where we've added our additive manufacturing design preparation tools. And these include the physical thread, the delete voids, the reorient command, and new to 2021 is the print material command. And in the validate group, we have the additive manufacturing design validation tools, which includes the wall thickness command, the overhang command, and new to 2021, the print validations command. Let's have a look at some of these commands. The reorient command allows you to visualize and adjust orientation in a 3D printer volume. Now you're going to set up your printer volume in this options dialog here. And then once you've created the printer volume, when you hit this command, you can visualize the model in the 3D printer volume. You can arrange the model into the 3D printer volume by settling the model on the printer bed or moving and rotating it. You can resize the model so that the model can fit the, to the printer volume. So if your model is slightly larger than the printer volume, you can scale it down to fit. Now this command is used nicely in conjunction with our overhang analysis command. For example, you may have a part that has a lot of overhangs if it's sitting at a certain orientation. And if you have a lot of overhang, certain printers will require you to create support features. If you simply change the orientation and position of that part, you may minimize the amount of overhang, thus minimizing the amount of support features or support structures required. Let's look at the overhang command, also known as check overhang angle. And this is in the validation group and used for validating design for 3D printing. A 3D printing overhang is any part of a print that extends outward beyond the previous layer without any direct support. This is supported for all environments including assembly, sheet metal and part environment. This checks solid edge model with a defined angle and you define what that angle is. You can enter it in here, your maximum angle. It highlights faces which may require support while 3D printing. And if you hover the mouse over those faces, it will actually tell you the angle of the face in a little window that pops up. Another validation tool is the wall thickness analysis. So wall thickness is the, defined as the minimum thickness your model should have at any time. And again, you define what that minimum thickness is in the dialog box here. Useful for validation before going for 3D printing. Indicates faces where the thickness is below a certain thickness. And like the previous command, if you hover the cursor over the highlighted wall there, you'll see a little box pop up showing you the value or the thickness in this case. New in Solid Edge 2021 is the 3D print materials. And this is found here. 
and this allows you to assign 3D print material to the model. And this can be different from the material assigned to the model in the material table. And this is also customizable by the user. And the other new command in Solid Edge 2021 is the 3D print validation tools. So basically what this does is it combines the wall thickness and the overhang into one tool and adds three other checkers for you shown here on the dialog. And this allows you to do a one-time validation before you send it to 3D printing. Let's have a look at a couple of these commands in Solid Edge. To introduce you to these commands, I've loaded up this part here. And we'll go to our 3D print toolbar. And remember, you need SE2020 or SE2021 to have this 3D print tab. And we'll start with the reorient command here. And you'll notice that I have a print volume already set up. Now to set up your print volume, you just enter in the volume width, depth, and height, and you can determine if you want a coarse, medium, or fine resolution. I'll leave it at coarse for speed. And of course, this is going to match your printer volume that you are, will be using. You'll notice here we can move simply by changing the X, Y, or Z values. You can also rotate about the X, Y, or Z axis. You can settle, which just settles it on the print bed. You can reorient. This just moves it around and lets you pick a position. Or you can scale to fit. Anytime you can undo or you can reset to the original orientation. Now, where this comes in handy is this is giving you the view of the model in the printer, not necessarily the orientation that it is when you've designed it. So let's do an overhang analysis. And this is the original orientation on the side. And with the overhang, I want to look for anything over a maximum angle of 60. And let's generate that. And you'll notice it shows me the red faces. I can actually isolate those. So there's areas where I may need support because of the overhang conditions are greater than 60. Now what I may decide to do is cancel out of here. I'll go back to my reorient command here. I'm going to select the rotate. And I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees about Y. So I type in 90 and hit the Enter key. Notice that it's dropped below the bed here with that rotation. So I'm just going to go up and hit Reorient Settle. And this will settle it up on here. So I've changed the orientation now. Let's do another overhang analysis. So that's the original model orientation. There's the printer orientation. Change this to 60 and calculate. And you can see there's a lot less red there. So a lot less overhang condition. In fact, in this case, I may not need any support features whatsoever. And again, that will depend on your printer type and your material and so forth. Another tool we have here is the wall thickness. And this allows me to verify that I don't violate any limitations by my material or my printing uh, apparatus. So for example, in this case, I'm using a two millimeter and you control what that is based on your printer and your material. I'm gonna calculate the wall thickness here. And anything that's less than two millimeters will show up in red. And the nice thing about this is I can actually go in and place my cursor over that red spot. Notice it's showing me that's down to 1.2 millimeters. Down here, we've got this cutout. So at the head of the cutouts, we're getting down to 1.76 millimeters. So at this point, I have to decide how best to handle this. Do I need to thicken the part, change the material, whatever. 
it's up to you how you decide to fix this the tool here will just tell you where there's potential problems now I'm not going to demo these I'll just point them out we have our print material here here's where you can add print material to this which can be different from the model part material I don't have a library set up yet so I can't show that to you and the print validations tool now this takes these two commands that I've just shown you and put it in here into the one command and it adds these three other checks now if you want to get more information on that just help, hit the help button this will take you into the print validation command click on the dialog box and there's the degenerate intersection and non-manifold checks so it tells you what it looks for so let's just cancel out of here and let's go back to our PowerPoint now another additive manufacturing command in solid edge is the delete voids command and this will locate voids inside of a 3d part and generally voids are not desired when doing 3d printing this checks the model readiness for 3D printing by identifying internal voids. It then highlights the regions and allows you to delete them to get the part ready for 3D printing. As you know, when you're putting in threads, they are generally cosmetic threads, which cannot be printed in the 3D printer. So we've added this new command to the 3D print ribbon bar and it detects all cosmetic threads and converts all cosmetic threads to physical threads. We've also added a toggle option which is available in thread and hole commands. It converts cosmetic threads to physical threads or back again and this works both for ordered and synchronous environment. Let's look, have a look at these commands in Solid Edge. Loaded up this new part here, and what we're going to do is look for voids. So we'll hit check for voids. It's located this void here, so I want to delete it because I don't want that to be in the 3D printing prototype. So we can close that, and the void's gone. Let's go into our Home tab. Let's go throw some threads on here. And we'll pick an appropriate thread. We'll throw that on here. And you can see that the system is putting cosmetic threads in there. Now, if you don't have your textures turned on, you probably would see a light green surface instead. Notice this new option here. If I click on here, it's going to give me a warning that this should only be used for 3D printing because it does add weight to it. So it can affect performance. And you can see the results there. Notice I can toggle back and forth between them. Every time you want to add it, it's going to give you that warning. We also have the, this on our 3D print ribbon bar. And you'll notice we have the physical thread command here. Again, there's that warning. And I can go around and select them individually, or I can say select all. Notice I ignored these because it already has the physical threads. And then I can just accept them and let this run. Now, because we've already started building physical threads here, and it's adding more, this will add some memory uh, to your part here and this will take a minute to run and then you will see that we have all our physical threads I wouldn't store it this way because we're looking at five times the amount of memory if not more now on my old laptop this took a little over a minute and a half to run so I've abbreviated this video but you can see that we've actually gone in and created all the little physical threads here so now when we send this to the printer, we can actually print out these threads. Let's go back to our PowerPoint now. Once your model is ready to print, we have the 3D print command. 
The 3D print page on the application menu groups the 3D print related commands and other functions that you need to generate a 3D prototype of your part, sheet metal, or assembly model. Let's have a quick look at this in Solid Edge. So I've gone back to this part, the first one. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go up. We've got that ready for printing. So we'll just click 3D print. It'll create the preview for us and provide us with all the tools we want. This, for example, will launch the Microsoft 3D Builder application. Here you can define how to export this as a 3MF or STL. So all the tools you need to create printing is here at your fingertips. Again, if you want to get into a more deeper dive, go into the help section. There's an excellent series of documentations on 3D printing in the Solid Edge help section. So if you want to learn how to use these commands, as I said, you can check out your help documentation. There's also a new Solid Edge 2021 electronic enclosure workshop, which will be available by the end of September 2021 on our online training webpage. And you can go to our webpage here to view all the online training. Now this is a two day workshop that introduces you to the Solid Edge tools and processes for creating enclosures and manufacturing them with 3D printing. If you have any questions about this, you can contact us at info at designfusion.com or 1-888-567-3933. If you want to learn more about our additive manufacturing products and services, Design Fusion works exclusively with leading additive manufacturing brands, HP, Siemens, PLM, and Mark Forge to be specific. Complemented by our industry experts, we provide the best solutions on the market to match your demand as you scale. Design Fusion also has demand services to make additive adoption cost effective and completely scalable. You can check out our additive manufacturing webpage listed here. Or again, if you have any questions, contact us at info at designfusion.com or 1-888-567-3933. Hope you enjoyed this blog and thank you for watching.